You all right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll be fine. I was so close to having a baby. But you, you want to be my surrogate? The idea of carrying your child makes me want to put a bullet through my uterus. I was joking. I wouldn't want you to carry my baby if you paid me the 20000 Wait, you're paying $20,000? Just for someone to squirt out your kid? Well, yeah, a little bit more. I mean, that's practically what I take home in a year. I could fix up my house, pay off my credit card bills. I could put my mom away for good with money like that. Well, I mean, that's something you wanted. I could think about it. I mean, if you were interested, then I would think about it. It's not something I want. Oh, I would want it far less. Okay. Okay. This is cool. You know, I've always wanted to have a family of my own someday, so it'll be great to have a practice, baby, where nothing matters. Wait, wait. No, like, could... whatever happens to it, happens to it, you know? <laughs> Two little dicky birds sitting on a wall. One named Peter, one named Paul. Oh. I don't understand why Glenn needs the shots if you're the one carrying the baby. Uh, if I have to pump myself full of hormones in order to carry his child, it's only fair that he go through the same pain. Yeah, but with saline so that my male parts don't turn into female parts. Yeah, that's how it works. You... I just can't believe you guys are making a baby. You don't even like each other. If I wanted to avoid doing things with people I hate, I would literally never leave my house. And believe me, I am only doing it for the money. And believe me, if there was any other usable, affordable womb within a thousand miles of here, I would not be using hers. It just sucks that you have to get so many shots. Well, I had the option of taking them orally. Then why did you pick shots? Ah! That's why. Surrogate shall be reimbursed for all tailoring expenses? I'm gonna have to have my clothes converted to maternity clothes and then converted back after. In the event of a baby over eight pounds, Lisey will reimburse Lisa for vaginal reconstruction. Hey, I was happy to have a gentleman's agreement. You're the one who wanted to get all formal about it. I'm gonna have to take some time to review these changes. Sure. Oh, FYI, clauses 30 through 49 are all vag related, and the last page is the before photos. I am not trying to shame anyone, but I, I need you to move out of this aisle. Please? Pretty please, with a cherry on top and rainbow sprinkles. Or chocolate, and you choose whatever you want. Oh, you're pathetic. I can't believe I'm having your baby. Wait, what? You're pathetic. No, 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 I know that. Well, what about the baby? Did you get my text? The implantation worked, I'm pregnant. Or preggers, as oh. my boring niece would say, trying to make herself sound like she has a personality. Cool. Oh. That's the most beautiful, magical thing anyone has ever said to me. I'm just so happy for you. No, I am sure I texted you. It was like a week ago. Thanks. I see what happened. Texted the wrong Glenn. Sorry, <laughs> pregnant with Glenn with two N's. LOL. My mechanic. My assistant manager and I, we're gonna have a baby. Oh boy. <laughs> oh God, I can't wait to tell my wife. What is happening here? I don't know. I'm gonna be a daddy. Uh... <laughs> it's pathetic now. Hey, I just wanted to make sure we're on the same page about keeping this whole situation from Lori. Oh, cause you're not married. No, I just mean a lot of bosses don't like pregos. What? No, everyone loves pregos. It's it's like the thing. Everyone loves pregos, legos, and egos. Not me. If I hear someone's pregnant, all I think about is bathroom breaks and doctor's appointments and hormones. It's like we don't need another Elias. Okay, but Lori's gonna find out eventually. Well, we'll deal with that if it comes to it. But for all we know, I may lose the baby, and this is never even an issue. Wait, wh what? I'm just saying it. Things happen. I live in a very dangerous neighborhood. People are always pushing other people. Anyway. Later, boss. Move! You've got to move. Hey, you're Dina, right? The assistant uh, manager? Uh, huh? What? Uh, I have a quick question mm. about the shrink reports. Sure, shoot. <clears throat> you want to put the box down? <sighs> no, it's light. <sighs> OK. Uh, well, it says that shrink accounted for like 1.4% of total sales mm. last month. But at the same time, the regional average actually dropped. Mm. Mm -hmm. Now, starting in the month of 
Hang on. August. Just ask the question. So sorry, I, uh, just sorry to uh, use the restroom. So maybe we can discuss that later. Okay, great. You know what? I have to go too, so I'll tag along. <laughs> great. That's great. Okay. Just uh, follow me this way. You're bringing the kettlebells to the bathroom? Yes, I am. They help me. That's the face, nose, and that's the mouth. It has a mouth. Oh, great. Nobody does a fail video quite like a Russian. Can I take a look? It's perfect. Yeah, it's fine. Do you want to see it in 4D? Really? Okay. Oh, oh my. What the? <laughs> oh, it's a miracle. Uh huh. Excuse me, are you pregnant or just fat? Pregnant. Okay, good. Uh, quick question. Do you have any feelings of, I don't know, overwhelming panic and a desire to flee? Is that your first? Yeah. Well, technically it's not mine, it's my boss's. Uh, okay, uh, little advice. Get the C-section. With my first, I was in labor for 36 hours. Finally, I bit off part of my tongue. I passed out. Sorry, <laughs> didn't mean to eavesdrop, but I had a C-section. Not great. They couldn't get my uterus back in after, and they had to just keep shoving and punching it in like an overstuffed duffel. I had to have twins breach birth in the back of an Ultima. Some EMT cut me from hole to hole. Nope. Nope. Absolutely not. It's been a difficult birth. The mother has lost a lot of blood, <sighs> and the pain is unbearable. The farmer moves in to put her down. Jesus. Dina, some of the customers are asking if we can change the channel. Oh. The farmer is unsuccessful on his first try. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Hey, Glenn, I need to talk to you when you have a minute. Something wrong? No, no, no. They just sent us the wrong receipt paper again, and I also decided I no longer want to carry your baby, so we'll just go over all that. The baby's in a sack anyway. I'm just suggesting we take out that sack and stuff it into someone else, maybe Sandra. Yeah, I don't think that technology exists. What technology? I'm talking about moving a bag of garbage from the kitchen to the side of the house. Bag of garbage? You can't just move it. That, that, that It's attached to things. Fine, fine. That's just one idea. We can come up with something else. Oh, it's so uncomfortable. Oh, it's OK. Tina, I know this is scary. OK, OK, how about this? We induce a coma, OK? In five months, I wake up empty and happy, and everybody wins. <laughs> all right, don't just say no, all right? We can find a solution. We just have to keep talking until we figure something out. <laughs> I did not think this through, and now I have a horrible parasite just eating and pissing inside me. My friend Corona swallowed a tapeworm to lose weight, and it ate one of her organs. She looked really good at prom, though. Look, Dina, it's just for a few more months. Yeah, and then I get to endure the most gruesome pain imaginable. The phrase, cut from hole to hole, was said to me. You know, it really didn't hurt that much. I remember thinking, like, big whoop. <laughs> Way to overhype it, women. Really? Because for me, it was like, it was, it was like nothing. Yeah, it was like bad cramps. Yeah, or like pooping with blood and screaming and then a face comes out of you. Enough waiting. <laughs> it's white. You. What does that mean? What? Maybe you guys are having a white baby. That's awesome. Congratulations. Garrett said that he was gonna take care of the gender reveal, so we just got a regular cake. I made the melon, baby. Garrett, what is it? Uh, I don't know. What? I mean, I, I mean, I don't know. You don't know. The doctor doesn't even know. I mean, what is gender anyway, right? It's just a construct. I mean, look around. We got a football. You got ballet. You guys are writing this baby's code before it even comes out. You're perpetuating gender stereotypes. How about we let this kid figure out its own gender? <laughs> you guys should be ashamed of yourselves. OK, everyone, let's try some big smiles on this one, all right? Big smiles, everyone. Dina, would you like to smile for this one? No. Dina. Please. Smiling would insinuate that I support what's happening right now, which I truly do not. 
Oh, so documenting the way our child is coming into this world is wrong? We have to document it by dressing up as Alvin and the Chipmunks? It's my favorite show, and Glenn is such a Theodore. Yeah, I'm not a star. I'm more supportive. And of course, Jerusha is such a Simon. <laughs> I wear contact lenses now. Hey, guys, I'm sorry. We have 15 minutes left in the session, so we're going to need to. OK, sorry, Dill. All right, look, Dina, just smile, and I'll give you 50 bucks. Fine. But I want to be Theodore. Fine. I'll be stupid Alvin who can't follow rules and always gets everyone in trouble. OK. Big smiles, everyone. Dina, you could show less teeth. You get none or all of them, Dill. Pick a speed. I never thought of myself as photogenic, but Dill really knows how to strengthen a collapsed chin. So in this one, you guys are chefs waiting to eat the baby? Yeah, but it's just a goof. We don't really want to eat it. This one's a mystery. Who's really the pregnant one? Oh, sorry, hold up, I gotta go back. Wouldn't the chefs be preparing the food, not waiting to eat it? Well, um, they're, uh, De maybe Dina's a new chef and we're uh, taste testing to see if we'd hire her. And if you don't like the taste of the baby? But, I don't know, we'd throw it away. What, you throw your happy in baby in the trash? Okay, I don't know, we didn't really talk about it. That makes no sense. You would get sick. I'm not saying you wouldn't get sick. I'm just saying that every arrangement is technically an edible arrangement. Glenn, today oh. is all about Dina. If she wants to eat the flowers, let her eat the flowers. Knock, knock. Hi, I'm Dr. City, and I'm the attending on the floor. Holy crap. I know Dr. Meyer is on her way, but in case you guys need anything before she gets here, I'm around. Yeah. Any questions, pain meds, perfect martini. <laughs> Martini! <laughs> Shaken, not stirred, Mr. Bond. Uh, that's Dr. Bond. Oh, wow! Yeah! I'm around. Give me a call. Well, he's an attractive man. I think we should switch to Dr. Sidian. No, but we've been seeing Dr. Meyer for nine months. Yeah, I just feel more comfortable with this guy. Honestly, I was never a Dr. Meyer fan. I didn't want to say anything, but during one of our exams, she was accidentally looking into my butt the whole time. I think she got confused, and I felt bad correcting her. Glenn, this is about Dina and her needs. If she feels more comfortable with this doctor, then that's all that matters. Fine, we'll go with Dr. Stranger we just met. Thank you, Jerusha. Also for my comfort, would you be able to go to my apartment and get this camisole? It's silky, very sheer, and also my makeup bag? Sure, whatever you need. And honey, watch out for the bird. She has a falcon now. Oh, will do. Okay. And grab a push-up bra. OK. We park this way. You know I can fit 40 cherries in my mouth. I need more than that, and I throw up. OK. Then don't do that. <laughs> so baby's fine. It's in a transverse position, though. It's sideways. I thought I could turn it, but we're going to have to do a C-section. Oh, goodness. Oh. Surgery, <clears throat> where you, uh, you cut me open, huh? Uh, no, actually, this way. Oh, east-west situation. That's correct. OK. I had an aunt who tore from her anus all the way up to the front. Mm -hmm. So what would happen if we just didn't do the surgery? I mean, the baby will eventually work its way out like a splinter, right? I mean, life always finds a way. Dina, you're going to be fine. And we'll be right down the hall waiting for you when you're done. You're not going to be in there? No. See, we're not doctors, so we don't go into the operating room. We go to the waiting room. Actually, the parents are usually in there for it. Okay, okay but well, you know, we probably just get in the way, so. Glenn, I think we should both be in there for Dina. Okay, I get really squeamish around blood. Maybe she doesn't have a lot of blood. Don't go. Oh, okay. Okay. Right, you must be Dina Fox. Hello, I'm Dr. Gillespie. I'll be administering the epidural. Damn, what is with this place? It's like Grey's Anatomy in here. You ready? Yeah. Let's go. I love you more than pot pies <laughs> and Christmas and even little baby Jesus. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> Tina, we can't thank you enough for giving us such an amazing gift. I didn't get you a gift. Oh, you mean the baby. Yeah, you paid me for that, so we're good. Yeah. Um, would it be okay if I had a moment alone with her? Oh, yeah, of course. Oh, no, thank you. You can put it in its bin. You take all the time you need. 
She's not gonna kidnap her, right? Yeah, locked all the windows. Well, this is it for you and me, kid. I hope it gave you a good start the past nine months. Now, if you ever need anything, you can always come to me. But not on Wednesdays or Fridays, because I have crew practice. <laughs>